Log in into Master GSD using same email and password as you've registered. Click on Clients and Menu and you will get a page with all the client details. Click on Work on this button. There is a plus sign on the menu bar. Click on it. Click on Add Sales Invoice. Select the type of invoice you want to add. You will get a form. Enter the details like Customer Name Name of the customer you are selling to GSTIN Number If the invoice is B2B give the GSTIN. If the invoice is B2C it is not needed. Invoice number is any number or any other character assigned to that bill by the issuing company so they can track it later. Invoice date just the date it was issued. Place of supply under GST defines whether the transaction will be counted as intrastate or interstate and accordingly levy of SGST, CGST or IGST will be determined. Billing address Address of supply For adding an item, product, service click on add new item. You will get a pop-up window where you can add the details like Item number code Enter item code must be more than three numbers. Item name, name of the item. Unit of measurement. How the item will measure. Recommended selling price for B2B. Price for business to business. Recommended selling price for B2C. Price for business to customer. HSN, SAC code. Which is a six digit uniform code developed by World Customs Organization, WCO, for goods and is universally accepted. Safety stock level. How much stock is available? Click on save. If the item is already there it will auto fill the category HSN UQC rate of item. Quantity. Amount of quantity purchased. After entering quantity it will automatically fill the taxable value. If the supply is interstate enter CGST SGST. CASS to compensate the states for the loss in tax revenue, some states that are net exporter of goods and or services are expected to experience a decrease in indirect tax revenue. Empty fields automatically fill. Click on save. You can see the details of added items. You can add any number of item in the same process. After saving the invoice to view the saved invoice click on returns. You will get the invoice details in sales tab. If you want to delete the invoice you can delete by checking the checkbox in the first column and click on delete button. You can search the invoice using the search filter provided. Download from or upload to GSTIN by clicking on the respective buttons. You also can import your invoices by clicking import button in the same tab. On clicking import button you will get a page is shown in below. In that choose the type of invoice and choose the file or drag and drop the file. Then click on Import Invoice. In the Sales Summary tab you can see the total number of invoice created pending uploads, successful uploads, failed uploads. In Upload Documents to GSTIN tab it will show all the information about invoices if you want to edit you can unsave then click on Upload All to GSTIN. In File and GSTR 1 tab you can see the Sales Filling Summary of a month. Click on Submit GSTR 1. Please note, once you submit the invoices, you can't make any changes to the invoices. Click on File GSTR 1 with Digital Signature. Please log into your Digital Signature to file. To file with AVC, click on File GSTR 1 with AVC button and you will get a pop-up and enter the OTP sent to your registered mobile number and click on Submit.